A and B are two radioactive elements. The mixture of these have a total radioactivity of 1200 disintegration per minute. The half-life of A is one day and for B it is two days. What will be the total radioactivity after four days given initial number of atoms in A and B are same. First of all, in case of radioactivity, we know that number of molecules is given by this particular equation n is equal to n naught e raised to minus lambda t lambda here is our decay constant which is 0.693 divided by half life here t represents half life okay activity or the radioactivity is defined as rate of disintegration basically dn by dt minus because n is here decreasing so minus dn by dt is known as the activity suppose let it represent by the letter a so dn by dt here becomes here minus and minus sign of lambda will get multiplied becomes plus so it becomes n naught lambda e raised to the power minus lambda t so activity is equal to lambda times n naught into raised to the power e raised to the power minus lambda t which is n basically the instantaneous number of atoms so activity for a particular substance is equal to lambda times the instantaneous number of molecules at a particular instant and in a mixture the activities of both the elements will remain independent let us suppose here it is given that a and b number of atoms initially were same so let's assume that n naught was the number initially for a as well as b so initial activity let us suppose is a1 total total initial activity a1 would be lambda 1 t1 plus sorry not t lambda 1 into n naught plus lambda 2 into n naught here you can see that lambda n is activity so at initial instant when number of atoms is n naught in both a and b activity must be lambda 1 n naught plus lambda 2 n naught okay and after four days after four days in case of a element a after four days means four half lives number of atoms would become how much n naught divided by 2 raised to the power 4 because there are 4 half lives so it becomes n naught divided by 16 for A and in case of B number of atoms becomes how much n naught divided by 2 raised to the power 2 because 2 half lives are elapsed because in 4 days because its half life is 2 days so 2 raised power 2 2 half lives equal to n naught divided by 4 so according to number of atoms left activity now becomes suppose a2 which is basically asked that what will be the radioactivity after four days so activity a2 would be how much lambda 1 into n naught divided by 16 because n naught by 16 is the instantaneous number of atoms for element a and plus lambda 2 into n naught divided by 4 okay so this is the activity after four days so now we can divide these two equations so a2 divided by a1 would become how much lambda 1 divided by 16 plus lambda 2 divided by 4 and divided by lambda 1 plus lambda 2 which can be simplified to lambda 1 plus 4 lambda 2 divided by 16 lambda 1 plus lambda 2 which can be further written as lambda 1 by lambda 2 plus 4 divided by 16 into lambda 1 by lambda 2 plus 1 I have just divided numerator and denominator both 
by lambda 2. Here we can see that lambda is basically 0.693 divided by half life. So, lambda 1 is for A and lambda 2 is for B. So, lambda 1 would be 0.693 divided by what? T 1. Here T 1 is 1 day okay, and T 2 half life of B is 2 days. And similarly, lambda 2 would be 0.693 divided by T2 because lambda 2 is decay constant for the element B. So, on dividing, lambda 1 divided by lambda 2 value is equal to how much? 0.693 will get cancelled. So, it becomes T2 divided by T1. So, here you can see that T2 by T1 is equal to 2. So, now we can substitute this value of lambda 1 by lambda 2 which is equal to 2 in this expression. So, now what we have is this a2 by a1 equal to here this expression. So, a2 is to be calculated divided by a1. a1 is 1200 disintegration per minute because this is in the form of the ratio. So, whatever unit of a1 is there the same unit value will be obtained for the a2 equal to lambda 1 divided by lambda 2 because it is also in the form of ratio. So, 2 will remain independent of the system of unit. So, here 2 plus 4 and divided by 16 and lambda 1 by lambda 2 is 2 plus 1. So, here it becomes 6 divided by 16 into 3. So, 3 into 2 and 8. So, A2 the activity after 4 days becomes 1200 divided by 8 if all calculations are to be correct I think. So, lambda 1 by lambda 2 is 2, 2 plus 4 6 divided by this is 3 into 16 ok. So, 1200 divided by 8. So, it is 150. So, A2 is 150 disintegration per minute. That is the answer to this question.